Hi beautiful people. So where to begin? I'm super excited to be talking about our wedding today and just all the little details because there is so, so much work and prep that went into it like all summer because I'm a teacher so I had the summer off so I was able to really plan um, and, like intricate details and, and all the colors and all the fun things that come with a wedding. I'm just super excited to share it with you today so thanks for, thanks for tuning in. So the first thing that we booked was our venue. Our venue was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna scooch this way so I can start to show you some pictures of it, but um, it's this beautiful, beautiful building called The Cannery, which is in Eureka, Illinois. It was so amazing, so beautiful. They took this super old building that they used to can pumpkins in and turned it into the most amazing venue that I'd ever seen. We got ready there, we had our ceremony there, we had a reception there, we had everything there, and it was so cool. They had our bridal suite for us to get ready in, us girls, then a guy's area that they got ready in, and that also ended up being our appetizer hour area for everybody to kind of chilling and eating as we were taking our photos. Um, they had this beautiful courtyard for our uh, ceremony and then our reception was in this beautiful hall and it was so perfect. Like they had these lights, these Edison bulbs hanging from the ceiling and these beautiful brick walls everywhere. And I literally cannot explain to you how amazing it was, but it was perfect. The day that we looked at it was like freezing cold. I remember there was snow on the ground, but I could actually picture it in the summer and I was like, oh, this is so amazing. Like the second we walked in the building, there were these, uh, this velvet couch, this green velvet couch, which me and Brady are obsessed with like velvet green couches. We just want one so bad or at least chairs in our future house. But anyway, we walked in and saw that and we looked at each other and we were like, as the person who was giving us the tour turns around, we were like, this is it. Like this is the one. So anyway, we got in the car after the tour and I sent her an email like right away. Like we looked at each other, we were like, this is it. And I sent her an email and I said, you know, put us down. We're gonna, we're gonna put down the payment for it. So, uh, it was just so fun. And we just knew, like I said, the second we walked in, this was the place for us. So yeah, they were absolutely wonderful to work with and we loved our venue. So the most important part of our wedding was the message. Like we really, really wanted it to be about Jesus and totally focused on him and the gospel because our wedding ultimately was not about us. Like it was not about me and Brady. It was about reflecting Christ in the church. And it was so important for us to make sure that that was the focus of the day. And we um, talked to our pastor about this and told him our intentions and how important that was to us. And um, he just did a fantastic job, like giving this gospel-centered, Christ-centered message and uh, people were crying and <laughs> everybody afterwards was telling us the message was so good. Like that was the number one thing that we heard afterwards was the message, the message, the message was amazing. That and my dress and the flowers also, but like overall the number one thing that we heard was the message was so cool. And I just thought that was so amazing that, um, that people noticed that, that it was different and that it was so Christ centered. So we were so thankful to our pastor that he did such an amazing job. So yeah, that was our, our message. And along with the ceremony, it was like really hot that day. It was 88 degrees. We got married on September 12th. So it was a lot hotter than normal, unfortunately, but it didn't rain. We were so thankful that it didn't rain. And like where we stood, Brady and I and our pastor and then the wedding party, <laughs> the building like blocked literally just us. So we were in the shade and there was a little bit of a wind breeze, you know, that really helped. But everybody in the poor, uh, you know, audience, they were, they were very hot, but they said it wasn't that bad. They said it could have been way worse. So <laughs> they were very much troopers, but yeah, my dad made us this beautiful arch, this hexagonal arch and our florist, which I'll talk about her in a little bit, but she put these beautiful arrangements, these, this huge one and then this littler one on it, and it was just this beautiful, beautiful um, this piece of art that my dad made for us, literally like from scratch. He took a tree and <laughs> was able to turn it into this absolutely amazing, amazing arch, and I literally will never be able to thank him enough for it because he worked worked so hard on it for so long. Both he and my mom did so much for our wedding and I'm so thankful for them. But yes, this arch was just gorgeous and it really was just this focal point of uh, the ceremony. And a lot of people got to take beautiful pictures with it afterwards. And I don't know, it's just such a cool memory to be able to have that and know that my dad made it for us. So originally we weren't gonna have programs just cause we were like, eh, save a little bit of money there, right? But we decided to print them so that, and I got a really good deal at Walgreens, I think, or, Shutterfly? I don't remember, I had a coupon, of course. So anyway, at the bottom, you know, after we listed like, it was very like minimalist, just the order of events, just very minimal. And then the songs we walked into and uh, at the very bottom it said, 
Soli Deo Gloria and hashtag going Bowen so that people could do the little hashtag with their pictures. But on the back, it was able to say like a thank you note and like all the people who were in it, just so people kind of know. So I was actually glad that we did that because then later in the detail photos, it was such a good memory to be able to have that uh, a part of those photos. So yeah, that was pretty much everything I think I wanted to say about the ceremony, I guess, except for walking in. I was so nervous, by the way. I was like shaking and then, um, and my dad and I were just laughing and because he's hilarious and awesome and we were just walking in and then the uh, They were like, yep, yeah, it's it's time to go and I was like, oh, okay This is really happening and I was so nervous because everyone was standing up staring at me And I really don't like when people look at me and I was so nervous right until we turned the corner and then I could see Brady and it was just like us and uh, like just seeing him and seeing him get emotional and like so excited to to see me and everything and like having that moment of finally like he can see me in my dress which i was so excited about for so long it was just such a special moment and um again it got captured on camera which is just so great to be able to have that forever so if you're nervous to walk down the aisle i was too okay? but it's really not that bad <laughs> once you see your almost husband at the end waiting for you there so so next i want to talk about our vendors who were amazing like almost all of them were christian and you could tell just the way that they treated everybody and the way they rolled like i mean it was just so cool between my hairdresser who kind of came in last minute because my original one got sick and it was very nerve-wracking to try to find somebody else but i put it out there on facebook like does anyone know someone who could do hair and someone recommended her and we actually go to church together and it was just such a small world like i had i didn't know that she did hair and it was just ah so cool so she stepped in and did fantastic fantastic brought my picture i showed her from pinterest to life and like i said like very last minute this was within like three days of the wedding. So yeah, she just was amazing. And then our florist, our floral designer, Michaela was so amazing. Seriously, all my Pinterest dreams came true from her help. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I've been pinning flowers because I just, I love plants, I love flowers. And I had this like, I had this vision of, I wanted this boho minimalist uh, with lots of dried ingredients, like, but a slight touch of industrial with a slight touch of like, fall and bright colors and all of that was my aesthetic in my head that I had and I sent her all these photos and uh, of my Pinterest boards and she literally brought it to life and nailed it. She killed it. I can't believe how amazing it looked when she brought them in to the bridal suite. I was going to cry because my bouquet was a dream. It had a little like ribbon hanging down and now it's hanging on my wall above our TV. Like I dried it and it's just, ah, the flowers were seriously so amazing. So yeah, I actually, I have a couple because she let me keep some of it and it's like very boho, like dried florals, lots of pampas grass, which I don't know, that's kind of a debate in my, uh, between me and Brady, if it's pampas grass or pampas grass, as well as my sister and I, we all go back and forth, but I think it's pampas grass. Anyway, it's not really that important, but I was able to, I'll kind of talk about this in a little bit, but like I thrifted all these vases and like this was just a glass vase I got at Goodwill. And I, I painted it with this beautiful orange, paint and then mix it with baking soda it made it kind of look like it was like like pottery that I you know like high-end <laughs> high-end pottery and she put these beautiful florals in it and it was just so cool and it's been fun because we get to keep some obviously like since I painted them I got to keep them and I've been like reselling them but it's just cool because now I'm putting them around our house and it's just such a good memory but the ones that we didn't want or weren't our favorite because I painted a ton I've been selling them on Facebook and it's just kind of cool that like people people want to buy something that I made and it's just so fun so it's been inspiring which on that end I know I'm talking about flowers but another DIY thing that we did was my friend Lauren helped me with this. I bought giant pots, like giant pots from the store, like huge. And I broke them up with a hammer. It was like manual labor, because I did this like in July. It was like so hot outside. I'm on the porch like banging. People probably think I was crazy. I was breaking up pots with a hammer. But anyway, I broke them all up into these pieces about this big, maybe about there. And my friend Lauren, who's fantastic at calligraphy, if you need anything, let me know and I'll give you her uh, Instagram. But anyway, <laughs> she wrote everybody's name on these so that they could be at their, their plate at the reception. So it was like this, a really cute little bunny tail, the napkin and our charger, all of it just was so cute. So these were me and Brady's at the head table, but we get to keep these forever as a memory. And ah, uh, it's just so cool. Like that was our, our style was just, like I said, like all these beautiful colors with dried stuff with 
you know, boho and all of that. So to see all my Pinterest dreams come true was so amazing. And like I said, it was Michaela. If you are from the Midwest, like seriously, you need her as your floral designer for anything, for your wedding or whatever you need flowers for. She is your girl contact her she's great so she really really made my my flower dreams come true <laughs> so besides flowers my dress was probably like my favorite thing that we bought and like paid for and it really was a very cool thing for me because we got this dress from David's bridal and it was really pretty affordable honestly super affordable but I had this vision in my head of what I really wanted and I really really wanted these like I mean it's kind of like this idea like like balloon sleeves that were puffy and boho and I wanted a dress that was modest yet comfortable but like boho modest and comfortable like it's hard to get all of that right and buy it off the this uh the, the rack that's the word I'm looking for it's hard to find that on the rack right so I bought this one and because I knew it was my dress like I knew I could just tell it was my dress it was so low like it was seriously all the way down to my belly button just whoop and I was like that's not gonna fly it also had a ton cut out here I just all over it was like yikes I do not feel comfortable in this but I know this is my dress like I just tell and it also had these like sleeves that were a little awkward it was like like a traditional t-shirt goes to like here or something maybe here right it like cut just over the shoulder so it was a little bit awkward I want to say it's called cap sleeves or something so I called my family friend who's so good at, at sewing and altering dresses and I told her my vision and, and sent her some photos and she was like oh yeah I can do that totally and I was like yes so then uh, I gave her the dress and kind of put it in her hands and we talked about how we can maybe make it work she brought it back to me a couple months later and it literally was perfect. The aesthetic again, I was kind of looking for those balloon sleeves that was comfortable and like like boho, but also like fairy enchanted forest, you know? And it was perfect. It literally was perfect. It she cut off these weird things right here, right? Because they had all these beautiful sequins and like shiny sparkly pieces. And she basically made it to here. She cut it to here and then added sleeves all the way down, balloon sleeves that were so comfortable. Like you can, I could lift my arms and it wasn't even uncomfortable. Uh, she added pockets to them, which they had like eight layers. So she was a trooper. She was so sweet. She added all this stuff to here so that it went, I think to about, I told her I wanted it to at least there. And it was so perfect. You could not see through it anymore. You could not see whoop, that anymore. And, you know, like I said, she got rid of these little awkward calf sleeves and took those sequins and like shiny pieces, put them all throughout the arms. So it wasn't just like plain balloon sleeves. It had all these beautiful sequin pieces that matched everywhere else because she took them from the dress and just moved them around, which was so cool because that's not easy to do, but she's so talented. So, um, yeah, and I, I just, I could not believe how perfect it was. I wore it with these really, really cute shoes. They're kind of like Keds, but they were just like these off-brand shoes. I literally think they were seven dollars I got them on sale so so wonderful I did not want to wear uncomfortable shoes I wore the shoes I really wanted to wear which were these like I said they weren't kids they were like kind of like that I'll just show pictures because that's gonna help help everybody out there with the visual things so yeah that was my dress it was such a dream um and along those lines were that was such a dream was like our photographer Kelsey was amazing like first of all she kept us on schedule otherwise I don't know we're all my friends and I were very chill so we were all just like chilling in the bridal suite getting ready nice and slow and she was like guys we gotta <laughs> it's so nice because she's a Christian too she was just so good at like being like assertive to us but kind and like helpful and she kept us on schedule and also created the most beautiful moments that we'll have forever on camera like it's just so cool she did a fantastic job so i would highly recommend her if you are from illinois and you need a photographer so she's great and i just i could never thank her enough for uh the work that she did editing and then filtering through all of them and then like editing them and giving them back to us like seriously we love you you're amazing Thank you. <laughs> I think my favorite things that she took were all the flowers. So it was like, it was like Michaela's work and Kelsey's work put together, like Michaela's flowers, Kelsey's photos. It just was amazing just to see how beautiful the flowers looked with the arch and all my detail shots. Like I, I planned for a really long time what the detail shots would look like. Like I had bought all these things and it was mostly thrifted stuff by the way. 
I am very much like thrift it, DIY it, buy it used when you can. So that was a lot of our wedding. But um, yeah, I bought like a ring box, a really cute clutch, my shoes, my earrings, our invitation and program, which by the way, I will admit our shoes in those shots were not the real shoes. I was going to wear them and then the day of I was like, nope, I want to be comfortable. So she did uh, photograph the OG shoes that I did not go with. But anyway, just being honest there, she put my earrings in there, the shoes, the clutch, the box, the ring box, my invitation, my program, and then some flowers from the bouquet with a ribbon that was on the bouquet. And it was just like, this is so beautiful. I remember staring at them on our honeymoon because she sent us a couple of them and I was like, these are amazing, these are perfect. So yeah, and yes, with photographer also we had an amazing videographer and DJ, they killed it and did amazing. I cannot wait to see how the video turns out and yes, I will be uploading it too here as soon as we get it, so. Super excited about that. <laughs> That's pretty much it with all our vendors and stuff. And I think most of what I wanted to say, I could say so much more, trust me. Like I would show you everything and like hold up everything and tell you, oh, I, I bought this at this store and I bought this and I painted this and I did this, but like we would be here all day. So maybe we can get coffee and talk about that. <laughs> but no, I, um, I had so much fun doing all the crafting and like kind of putting it all together. And like I said, making all my Pinterest boards come to life. So if you have Pinterest, I would definitely utilize it because it's very helpful to see, oh, someone did that, someone did that, and kind of put it together and like make it your own um, and see see it come to life. And real life is so cool. So I guess that's about it though. I think, I don't know, our, our wedding was pretty small in case you're wondering, it was like 115 people ended up being able to come between like sickness and like just different issues that kind of came up last minute. It was very sad, but like about 15-ish 15, 15 people could not come last minute, which is really, really hard. But um, yeah, because of them, it ended up being pretty small. It was like 115 people, which was nice. Like it was nice to have a small wedding. And even if it had been 130, which is what we had planned, it would have been great too. But um, yeah, overall it was very, you know, small in terms of like huge weddings versus that. Like it's, it was pretty small, but I liked that. Yeah, I don't know. There's really not much else to say. It was just like our prayer for it was that it would be reflective of Christ in the church and that we bring glory to God through it and that, you know, we would be witnesses and um, just good stewards of all the gifts that he's given to us. And um, it was very important that our, our witness pointed to Jesus because there were people who were not Christian there. And like, it was very important just in the way we, like what music we chose and how we dressed and just everything, everything that we were doing, we were trying to make sure that people saw Jesus in us, even if they didn't recognize it at the time. We hope that the Lord draws them to himself and you know, one day they can look back and, and remember, oh yeah, that, and we heard this and we saw that, and that's why you did that. Um, that would be that would be our prayer and, and just that the Lord would the Lord would just draw them to himself and that they would see and recognize eventually. Um, this is the difference. So yeah. So I think that's it. I'm just gonna read to you from Ephesians and um, that's all pretty much for now. So if you have any other questions, um, let me know and um, maybe I'll make another video about this. I don't know. Hopefully the video will come in soon from our wedding and then you'll be able to see kind of how it all came together in that. So I'm gonna read to you from Ephesians 5, verses 31 to 33. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is profound, and I am saying that it refers to Christ and the church. However, let each one of you love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Have a great day, and bring God glory in all you do and all you say. Bye.